it's time to meet another new John Renault style for fall 2021. This is Skylar. And I have Skylar in the color Palm Springs Blum. There's a lot of important detail here you won't want to miss. Coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds from Wig Studio One. If you go below the video, expand the description box. I will attach a product link directly to this style at Wig Studio One. You can check out all of the colors and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One if you have any questions for us. Please don't hesitate to reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. They're always ready to help. John Renault Skyler is a mid-length, A-line, bob-style cut. It's very modern with some irregular texture and layering. Very casual and a bit avant-garde for John Renault, don't you think? This is the first style that I've really seen them really go out there and just kind of capture uh, the edginess of some of that styles that are on trend right now. So let's talk about this Palm Springs Blonde first. I just want to cover this with you because this color application is a little different than other ones. Uh, the Palm Springs Blonde is my favorite blonde by John Renault, 17101 S18. It is a like a medium ash blonde and then it's heavily highlighted with a toned white. Um, it does come across kind of platinum, but uh, based on that violet toner that they add to the white, it is a, a very bright um, ash tone. Overall, this is a very cool light blonde. And all of that is supposed to be on a light brown root or a dark blonde, and that is ash and tone. Now on this application, the rooting here is um, a light brown or a dark blonde. Hopefully it comes across okay because sometimes the camera will pick up and accentuate shadows. And sometimes it makes the rooting look a little bit darker in effort to create a, a good contrast on camera. Those front pieces are gonna reach right around 11 and a half inches. And it's irregularly cut. It's very exaggerated at the bottom where it's point cut. There's variable lengths. It's just a rough hewn texture and where have you heard me describe that before? <laughs> uh, Beltress. They're taking a page right out of Beltress's book with this style, uh, particularly the texture, because it almost looks as though it's been uh, flat ironed, curled in the middle, left straight on the ends, and then has irregular layering with a lot of point cut texture. That gives it a very, very exaggerated, choppy look. Very modern, bohemian, and casual. Now, one thing I do love about a, an HD fiber um, on a style like this is that you can make little tweaks with heat without worrying about damaging the wig. Uh, you could set your part, you could add curl, you could smooth it out. There's a lot you can do with heat. So I rather like the HD fiber for this style. Now, <clears throat> I do feel like it's probably going to be a, a more a, a style that has more longevity than a longer heat defiant fiber. And the fact is, it's probably not going to drag the clothing very much. Now, I am very, fairly petite in my measurements from hairline to chin, six and a half, and then another, another three inches to my collarbone. So that's why you're seeing it kind of drag my clothing there at the front. On most people with more average uh, measurements, it's probably gonna look a little bit shorter than this and probably won't be grazing the collarbone as much as it is on me. Let me remark on the fiber that we're on this discussion about the HD fiber. Now this HD fiber feels softer and finer than any other of the styles that John Renault has made with HD fiber. I feel like they maybe have changed their formula for HD fiber. It's becoming more fine. Uh, this fiber, just to kind of describe and put perspective on it, it feels a lot more fine in denier and softer than let's say a Raquel Welch but it's not quite as fine and not quite as soft as Beltress. So it kind of falls somewhere in the middle, but I can definitely say it's a lot different. The last HD style I had from John Renault, which was Ignite, the fibers weren't quite this soft um, and fine. 
Moving on in the measurements, we talked about that front piece being around 11 and a half inches. Now the crown is also about 11 inches and they take that measurement a little farther up and then down through the back. There's a three and a half inch nape as well. Now that crown does overlap the nape, so I feel like that's probably a true 11 inch, 11 to an 11 and a half inch length in the back. And that, uh, that nape just adds a little bit of texture and it has a little bit of an undercut appearance there, giving it some stacking, not some stacking, but just more of a voluminous look at the back there. And then you'll see that that does angle down because there is a 9.75 inch layer here in the middle on the sides, okay? So that gives you that wonderful angle here. And based on the description, it weighs about four and a half ounces. It feels really lightweight on my head. I think because these fibers are just so fine and soft, it just doesn't feel heavy and pillowy to me. And then uh, it does feature a lace front and a single monofilament, full single monofilament top. So it features John Renault Smart Lace, which is 100% hand tied and a single hand tied monofilament. Let's get up close on this because I think it is pretty well done. So let's take a look. Uh, the knots are very fine here. Based on the uh, lighter root color here, and it's not so obvious that there is uh, knotting. And it does work its way back into more of a thicker density. So I feel like it's pretty well done there at the front for a nice natural look. Now one thing I do is when the lace front is not extended back into the ear tab, I always check the seams just to see what I'm dealing with. Um, I think they probably could have done a better job there with the seam. Now there's a, a thick uh, knot there where the lace front meets the cap. So you definitely want to just pull some fiber over that. You could steam a little bit down over that seam and I think it will be just fine. And then I also will say that you can definitely see through to the illusion of scalp on the single monofilament top. This is one of the better ones, I think. And hopefully you can really tell there it's not too thickly threaded. It has a beautiful natural look. I really think that that's something special for a monofilament top. Now, basically on a monofilament top, you can get into a flatness on the top. I don't find that's true here with this. Uh, the way the fibers are sewn in, there's a little bit of contour coming right off of that monofilament, which allows you to get a little bit of lift you can really kind of customize that amount of lift right there at the mono. It's not completely flat. Permatease, there are some permatease here, but not a lot. It's not a thick, heavy, heavy pillowy presence of permatease. You're gonna find some right there at the temple, some at the back, and virtually none at the nape. So it is a nice application, just all the right amounts and where it's exactly where it is needed. Again, the density is just a nice average density. However, I feel like it probably could have been a little bit finer around the face. I find that it's very heavy around the face. Now that could be because my features are more petite, um, that it kind of swoops in and, and takes over. And there's a lot I can do to just give it a little bit of a slimmer profile. Okay, now it's time for our unboxing of this style. So you get to see it right out of the box, right along with me. I'm gonna put up a clip that I filmed yesterday, no makeup or anything because I wasn't intending to film, but I wanted to get that shot so that uh, you could see the unboxing. All the typical John Renault packaging here, the uh, little HD sticker on the front of the box does indicate that this is a heat defiant fiber inside. And then you will also find that with every John Renault HD fiber style, they will include a wide tooth comb. I highly recommend only using this wide tooth comb to, to brush out and style your HD fiber wig. It uh, allows you to style it a little bit with less friction. If you brush this fiber, it puts a lot of friction on it. This fiber tends to be a little more delicate and prone to static which will ultimately shorten the life of your HD wig. So only use the wide tooth comb.
Let's take a look at the inside of this cap. So there is your lace front single monofilament top assembly with a seam that adjoins the two pieces. It's nicely threaded. You can definitely get a nice natural look from the lace front and monofilament. It does not extend back into the ear tab. We have nice closed ear tabs, beautiful sturdy stays. In the back, you will find just a standard nape. <laughs> Can I say substandard? <laughs> There's only a very, very thin strip of, of a felt that you can attach these Velcro adjusters. Now I have to say right away, this is an extremely large cap um, and there's just not enough room on that nape for me to make a good adjustment. Okay, I just shake and separate it a little bit with my fingers. Um, it's just such a beautiful fiber to, to feel and sense. And then I'll go ahead and shake it out and apply it and then find my parting space. So uh, I just like to swirl around on that lace front on the monofilament and I like to find a parting space that is not only practical, keeping the bangs away from the face, but also flattering. And this part might look different for you than it does for me. I like mine just a little bit left of center. So I always like to mix up that part a little bit. In the styling, I'll show you more on uh, how I work this part into different configurations. Now, when I rake this fiber back away from the face, you can see that natural contour at the front is really emerging. And this is caused by the fiber on the top into the monofilament has a stiff forward movement. And when I go against that movement, it creates some resistance. Therefore, it gives me a little bit of contour at the front and a little bit of fluffiness at the top. I'm probably gonna have to use heat or product in order to get that to stay. And I will also tell you that there's a lot of flyaways on this style just because of the finer fiber and the air is getting really dry outside as well. But overall, this is an absolutely amazing style. I give it a thumbs up for me personally. This may not be your cup of tea. I'm just really happy to see that John Renault is just venturing out and getting a little more bold in their styling. and I just really want to work that part and work it around the face a little bit. There's really not enough fiber in the back to get ponytails and things. Um, so really the focus is going to be around the face and on the top. So stick with me while we do some styling together here. Uh, let's try with glasses. Glasses fit neatly and securely in between the ear and the ear tab on this style. So I feel like that's pretty much glasses friendly. Be sure to visit Wig Studio One to take a look at this style. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.